So those of you who subscribe to my channel or maybe following the ring roller series so to speak. Um, firstly thank you for subscribing and this is where we are with the new machine. Um, really an extension of the ring roller. Hard to call it a ring roller anymore, more of a forming machine. Um, I am going to go for the four roll principle. I'll show you why in a minute. There will be some videos that I got off the internet to show you how I intend the four roll system to work and how I intend the three roll system to work so I also intend it to be a traditional pyramid machine. Um, I'll show some more angles in a minute rather than this uh, wide angle. So you see I've collected a series of bearings over here, various types. I've been mucking about for quite some bit. I bought some three bottle jacks five ton from Machine Mart on the VAT free day. I suppose that's equivalent to Harbour Freight elsewhere. Cheap and cheerfuls do the job. Uh, they're not a Weber, but what more do you want? Um, so you can see I've bought some self-aligning plumb block ones, face ones. I've bought all sorts and this is the configuration I've set on. Uh, now I will just say as a thank you to the people, I'm not affiliated with these, I don't know them, I don't know anything. But I'm ordering bearings off eBay at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and they're there next day at 10 o'clock. So four bearings, whoever you are, I don't know who you are, your service is brilliant and I thank you for it. Um, so yes, this is what we've got. Um, how I intend this to work is this is going to be manually driven. I'm not doing hydraulics. I've got no intentions of doing hydraulics. I just haven't got time for it. Um, there will be a series of these built up along these rather than a single shaft number of reasons I haven't got a drill that long and the other is my intention is to start forming angle iron I know this isn't on the correct roll but I intend to do angle iron sections so that will simply be like that and I want to start forming angle iron um, again with wider strips I don't know what its capabilities are going to be we're just going to make it and find out You'll also know is I've used these. These will be on a thread sliding backwards and forwards. You see some on the internet, um, some very good ones in fact, that drop in certain sections, little cutouts like little detents. Uh, why? When you can have it simply threaded and you can screw it in, you can screw it out. The rollers will move around as well, which again refer to the video that I'm going to put on here that I, I got off the internet about how we intend the rollers to work. These obviously is your clamp and that will raise and lower and clamp between the two rolls these are your two formers um, there's going to be some sort of quick release mechanism so we can quickly shoot that back get the steel in get it back um, like I say a configuration of rolls some small some large for doing cross section uh, flat plate whatever I'm going to make it as I go I, I haven't got really the funds and the time to start filling up these if I don't need them if I need a wider sheet I'll make more rolls I've also got a bit of a problem is I don't have a milling machine if I ever do keyways I use my lathe and use the um, configuration of the cross slide and then mill a slot whereas that's a little bit long for me so I don't know whether to pay and get that keyed I'm not sure yet or whether to some prong method or I don't I don't know what to do yet putting internals in I can do those obviously with a brooch but it's getting this done I might possibly have to pay for that to have a keyway along it because that's obviously the driven clamp and like I said the two forms now what's interesting I don't know if I'm going to pull this off I'm not sure but um, I've bought a drill uh, well I was given a drill lovely old drill not the mendings one you may have seen in the other videos but uh, I'll give a little clip to it in a sec. Um, and I want to make some conical uh, guarding for it, some cones. So my theory is, or I'm hoping so, if I can have that one less screwed in, that one more screwed in, so we've got that kind of arrangement, I'm hoping I can form a cone I don't know that's going to work. I think it will, but I don't know. So if you imagine that kind of arrangement. I, I know it's just budged at the moment, but I'm thinking that might do. 
a conical roll for us. I'm hoping it does. So yeah, like I say, that, that's how I intend that to work. So that's where we are at the moment. The next thing is starting to build the frame to get this all to clamp, to work out the drive and to get these feeding in and out. I was going to make it hydraulic, uh, as in working off the pump that you've seen on the hydraulic press video, um, but it's going to get too big. I'm running out of room as it is. So that's where we are. Any positive comments, any ideas, always appreciated. Uh, negative ones, pl please just say why. You know, no thumbs down. Thumbs down, I'll pay anybody. Um, like you say, it's going to take me some time to do this, especially with Christmas festivities and what have you. Um, incidentally, this here is the machine I need to make some guarding for. So you can say it's got. I want to make a conical pulley arrangement for on here. So I need to do a roll that kind of size. And that's that's hopefully the first task for this new machine and the reason really why I'm building it. So like I say, thanks for subscribing, thanks for your time. Anything you'd like to say please write in the comments below and um, I'll keep you informed as we go.